Jesse came here. Hi friends, it's Jesse Artigue from Style and Pepper and the Concrete Catwalk, and I am popping in today to show you a very quick and very easy little DIY tutorial. Um, if you saw my blog post from a couple of days ago showing my Easter outfit, I had on a little camel mini skirt, a white tank, and this sheer, really flowy kind of little caftan tunic over the top. Um, and I mentioned that I had made it myself. Several people requested a little how-to, and so that's what I'm going to show you today. So the materials that you're going to need are super simple. Obviously, first off, the fabric that you're going to use. Um, I grabbed a tape measure just in case. I'm going to just quickly check the measurements before I do any cutting, but uh, when I did it the first time, I eyeballed it, so you don't need one if you don't have one. Um, and then a pair of really sharp fabric scissors. Okay, so let's get started. So um, first let me talk a little bit about the fabric I'm going to use. The most important thing is that you use something that has a lot of movement to it, so it's pretty lightweight and it doesn't have to be really flowy, but if, um, if you use something that's a thicker weight of fabric, you're not going to get the right caftan results. It's going to end up looking just really um, structured and it's not going to fall quite the way we want it to. Uh, this little piece of fabric I have here is just a vintage uh, cotton broadcloth and because it's so old, the cotton is really thin and um, it's nice and lightweight. So you want to take your fabric and um, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and measure this just so I can give you an idea of how large of a piece you'll need. Um, and again, this depends, um, how big of a piece you use depends on how you want it to fit. But as far as length, this one that I have here is about three and a half feet long, and that's going to be, you know, you're in a, it's going to end up being half as long on me because the midpoint's going to hit right at my shoulders. So, um, you know, whatever, however long you want it to be on you, measure from the top point of your shoulder down, and then double it, obviously. Um, and then width, this one in particular is, uh, it's about 32 inches. So um, I'm just telling you those measurements so that once you see the final product and see it on, you can have an idea of, um, you know, if you like the way that it looks on me, you can use the same measurements or whatever you want to do. This is so easy, it's ridiculous. I'm folding it in half um, from being, you know, full, long rectangle, holding it in half um, so that I've got the fabric just, you know, as the width of it. And this uh, little piece that I'm making right now is going to end up being more of like a little crappy crop top caftan thing because I'm loving that trend right now. So I'm going to try it out for myself. Um, and so when I folded it, I folded it uh, with the right side facing in. Um, so right now I'm looking at the, the underside or the inside of the fabric, the wrong side I should say. Um, and I'm going to turn it around so that the fold is closest to me. That's just going to help me when I'm marking and cutting it. Oh, I guess I should have said you could also use a uh, pen or a pencil. <laughs> Forgot about that. So I've got my fabric all ready and laid out. And actually this fabric, again, super old and been sitting in my fabric closet for so long that it already has the um, midpoint marked with a fold line, a crease in the fabric. So um, I could measure it, but I'm not going to because I don't measure much when I make things for myself. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. So I, I uh, marked the midpoint here, um, and then next what I'm going to do is measure um, or not measure, but mark also where I want the point to be. So the bottom of the V, I should say. And I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And the nice thing about this is that I'll be able to try it on, and if it's not deep enough, I can always cut it a little bit farther. So um, I would say this next mark is about 10 inches down. And actually, um, yeah, yeah, I'll leave it at about 10 inches. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is... I'm going to measure from the midpoint at the top of the fold. I'm also going to measure about um, an opening of about six inches. So three to one side, three to the other side. 
Again, you could totally eyeball this if you wanted to. Um, so I've got three points drawn, well actually four points on here, but the outer three most points just make a, a triangle. But then what we're going to do is flip the whole piece over. Now your fold's at the top and this is the back of the piece. And um, find, your, find your midpoint on this side again and then find where you marked on the little, you know, three inches out three inches out so that you can see those on this back side of the fabric. And then here's the one difference you're going to do from the front. Instead of doing that deep V, what I'm actually going to do is just like a, basically a, a semicircle connecting um, the two outermost points and then making sure that it's the deepest um, even with the midpoint. So I'm just going to roughly kind of sketch a big Okay, so now um, we've got that little semicircle drawn, and um, you know, just for fun, I'm also going to connect this uh, deepest V point with. Um, see, do I have a straight edge? <laughs> this is a picture right here. Okay, because I want my line to be straight, so I'm just going to draw my little. Um, I'm going to connect, draw a line connecting that V point with those two outermost dots that are at the fold. Now we can unfold our piece of fabric. Make sure it's all completely unfolded. And you're going to have this like ice cream cone shape drawn right here. And that's obviously where you're going to be putting your head. Um, and the next thing you're going to want to do is actually just cut out the um, cut out the shape that you drew here. Um, and like I said before, the sharp sharp fabric scissors are going to make your edge cleaner, and it just makes it a whole lot easier. I hate having to like chomp through fabric with really dull scissors. I used to be super bad about using, I buy a pair of scissors and use it for like paper, fabric, um, to trim my bangs, anything, which is so silly because um, if you're into sewing or crafting, you know that nice scissors are expensive and you use them for the wrong things, it wrecks them. So there's my little uh, scissor soapbox tidbit for the day. Alright, so I'm just going to finish cutting this little sh ice cream cone shape out. Um, and next what we'll want to end up doing is um, finishing this edge. Um, by cutting this shape out, you know, I'm creating a, an unfinished edge here along the, the neck hole. If you are um, not a seamstress or if you don't have a sewing machine or anything like that, um, I would recommend either using some uh, clear nail polish or there's products that you can buy at Hobby Lobby or Michaels that are um, basically edge finishing. It's called Fray Check and it's just a little liquid um, and you just run it along the edge of the fabric and it keeps it from fraying. It's basically what the clear nail polish is going to end up doing. The tiniest little bit of nail polish on your brush, like get most of the excess off and you're just going to gently very carefully run it on the very inside edge of the fabric, um, and if you glom it on there, it's going to look awful, and it's going to kind of um, make the fabric a little bit darker than its normal color, and it just doesn't look right. So make sure you apply that very carefully, um, either the nail polish or the fray check. So okay, so now we have our big piece of fabric um, with the little hole in the middle, which how easy is this? I'm just basically um, throwing it over my shoulders, putting it right on over what I have on, which is definitely not going to be what I wear with. Um, and I will um, stand up and take a few photos and show you the final product. I hope you were able to figure out how to make your very own little caftan. They're perfect for wearing with jeans, as I wore it with a little mini skirt. You can wear it over a bathing suit. 
Um, you know, it's obviously a really easy and pretty inexpensive way, depending on the fabric you use, to kind of inject a little bit of newness into your wardrobe um, with a fun new piece. So definitely give it a try. Let me know if you do it for yourself. Please send in photos if you do it for yourself. Honestly, I would love to see them. And um, check out my blog, The Concrete Catwalk, for more outfit inspiration. And if you have any styling questions or are interested in having me help you out with your wardrobe, definitely check out my website, styleandpepper.com, as well. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!